Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to make automatic changeover. First of all, you have to know what is the function of the changeover. Changeover is a transfer switch that is switching between two electric sources. In the normal situation, the electric appliances in your home connected to the electric grid. But in power outage situations, you have to switch in your electric appliances to another electric source, which can be gasoline generator or solar inverter. So each time in the power outage you have to do this task manually. So I designed this simple electronic circuit to making this process automatically. This circuit consists of two relays and a transformerless power supply. The 220 volt mains voltage that coming from electric grid connected here. This capacitor decreasing the current, the bridge diode converts the AC to DC, Zener diode regulates the voltage on 24 volts and the capacitor filter out the ripple voltage. Before power outage, when the electricity coming from the electric grid, the relay running and hooked up the electric appliances to the electric grid. But in the power outage, the relay deactivated and connect the electric appliances to the solar inverter or gasoline generator. The second relay using for switching on and off the solar inverter and gasoline generator instead of leaving them running all day long. Then I convert this circuit to PCB and go to PCBWay.com. Insert the PCB size, quantity and color. Then click Add to Cart, upload your Gerber file and complete the payment. After about 30 days I received my package. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. I connect the circuit to the electric grid, load and the solar inverter as shown here. Before power outage, the load connected to the grid. But in the power outage, the circuit connecting the loads to the solar inverter automatically. Any inverter drawing some current from the battery even with no load. That called standby current. As you can see here, my inverter drawing more than 500 milliamp with no load. To solve in this problem, as I said before, you have to use in the second relay. Open your inverter and connect the relay contact in series with the inverter switch. This time, as you can see here, before power outage, the inverter drawing 0 amp from the battery. Thanks for watching.